I am Dr. Masood Qureshi, Associate Professor Sajji in Surgical Unit 1. Today we are going to discuss a topic which is very much common in surgical practice and uh, most common emergency encountered by the surgeons is the appendicitis. <coughs> uh, introduction and inflammation of the appendix is caused, uh, called appendicitis. Acute appendicitis is the most common cause of acute abdomen. The most commonly performed operation in general surgery is the appendectomy, which usually our surgical trainee, they used to do in their surgical training. Appendix is uh, present only in humans, certain arthropods and apes. It is a blind muscular tube with mucosa muscularis serosa. Morphologically, it is an Developed distal end of C. Position is uh, of uh, appendix is variable. Actually, the tip of the appendix uh, or the body is present in variable positions. Uh, most common is retrocecal behind the cecum. Appendix is more common, most common, <coughs> present in a retrocecal position. Sorry for okay. The position uh, varies with the uh, as uh, the cecum rotates after uh, the infancy life, the childhood. The cecum rotates and the position of the appendix uh, comes on different position in the later life. Retrocecal is more common and paracecal, subsecal and pelvic, these are the positions and the most common is retrocecal, the pelvic is the second uh, commonest uh, position, appendix uh, uh, tip is present and uh, then uh, paracecal, subsecal and post ileal. Perihelial is 1%. The appendix take the blood supply from the appendicular artery, which is branch of uh, lower division of the iliopolar artery, passes behind the terminal ear to enter the meso appendix a short distance from the base of the appendix. In during surgery, if you see the uh, appendicular artery or the mesentery of the appendix. Uh, it varies uh, in the thickness. In child, uh, children, in pediatric age patients, these are the uh, in vessels. Uh, and uh, in obese patients, uh, you cannot uh, actually see clearly the vessel. It is uh, embedded or it is covered by the, the, the fat layers. It is the end artery. So uh, this is the reason I have, if appendicitis occurs and uh, there is some obstruction of this uh, or, or the occlusion of this uh, 
vessel, they can, they cause the perforation, gangrene, and other complication of in the appendix. Microscopic anatomy. If you see uh, under the microscope, you may. Sir, you are a little slow. Your voice is not coming. Yes, brother. Okay. वो इसमें साउंड सही नहीं है आवाज सही नहीं जाती सर इसमें गेम पर जोर दे इसमें गेम पर जोर दे दो हाँ हाँ तो ये जोर से बोलने से इसमें तो बोलने कोशिश कर रहा हूँ देखे आप अपना एंट्री या जो जो भी डिवाइस यूज कर रहे हैं उसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम आपकी तरफ तो नहीं है ये देख लीजिए ठीक है तो हम देख रहे थे वी आर डिस्कसिंग द माइक्रोस्कोपिक एनेटॉमी ऑफ द ऑफ द अपेंडिक्स टू सी द एनेटॉमी इन अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोपिक एनी प्रॉब्लम एनजीए चंगुंग मुझे सुन रहे हैं A uh, lumen yes, is sir, irregular, please. being encroached on by the multiple longitudinal fold of uh, mucous membrane lying by columnar cell inter intestinal mucosa of the colonic valve. Crypts are present, but these are not very much numerous. Uh, in the base of crypts lies the argenta film. Uh, other name of this uh, cell is flesh uh, flesh. Yeah. and this is the commonest origin of the of the carcinoid tumor if the carcinoid tumor they are present they originate from these argentafil cells and the appendix is the most common site for this carcinoid tumor in the body because uh, on the other places also but it is most common site of the carcinoid tumor appendicitis or inflammation of the appendix may be classified in acute or recurrent appendicitis according to the presentation of uh, the clinical entity if they present in acute Uh, in the uh, first time as a pain or other symptoms uh, it is known as acute and uh, the recurrent appendicitis is uh, appendicitis uh, if uh, we treat the appendix uh, appendicitis conservatively and patient can have the recurrent attacks of uh, same sort of pain and clinical features uh, is known as recurrent appendicitis Other classification of appendicitis is is uh, the obstructive or non-obstructive. Obstructive type they are usually caused by the pericolites or stone in the appendix uh, appendix or it is also known as appendix. Or non-obstructive if they are present there is no obstructive cause and uh, they can be caused by the bacterial transmigration and uh, and some infective origin or the viral viral acute appendicitis uh, historically if we see the um, appendicitis that uh, it is it was uh, first time presented in 1886 by fritz 
Regional Fitz presented a paper in American Journal of uh, Surgeons in 1886 in which he he explained that there is something happening to the appendix and which causes the perforation of the appendix in uh, perforated acute appendicitis. Soon afterwards, in the same years, Meg Burney described the clinical features of appendicitis and the a point of maximum tenderness in the appendix, uh, uh, where the appendix uh, uh, maximally tender, he described the point where the pain of the appendix or tenderness is more present and the, uh, the place where in the abdomen is also known as McBurney's point by the name of Mr. McBurney. Acute appendicitis is relatively rare in infants because uh, infants they uh, have a wider lumen and underdeveloped appendix. And by the time in the childhood, when they land, and uh, there are incidents of uh, appendicitis more common after two years, female to male ratio is equal before birth. After puberty, it is more common in females, three to two in teenagers, and the incidence uh, again changes after 25 years of age. This is more common in females after 25 years. Geology in etiology, uh, uh, this is more common uh, uh, problem in the in the communities where uh, uh, dietary fibers are less and the consumption of carbohydrate is more. Maybe it is caused by the fecolips, formation of some stones in the appendix uh, lumen and the fibrotic structure of the appendix may cause the appendicitis. This fibrotic structure is usually caused by uh, the mild attacks of uh, appendicitis which are treated conservatively and, uh, and uh, there are adhesion formation and uh, some structure formation over the appendix and it causes the, the appendicitis. Recurrent appendicitis is more common with the fibrotic structure. See the uh, pathology of this appendicitis. Picolip, viral infection, and lymphoid hyperplasia. What ha happens in the picolip obstruction? It, uh, the uh, lumen in the, is obstructed and it causes edema of the of the layers of the appendix and, and uh, there is uh, compression over the vessel and it, uh, it can cause the, the, the perforation gangrene of the uh, appendix due to the its end artery there is no collateral over the appendix they can be perforated and the viral infection it is more common in the, in the uh, some uh, times in the years where viral infections are more common and if uh, there is lymphoid hyperplasia it also causes the, uh, the uh, edema and uh, there is uh, thickening of the of the lumen of the uh, appendix it causes again pressure over the vessels and there in our channels of obstruction uh, obstruction obstructive appendicitis and the perforation of the appendix. You see clinical features of the appendicitis, appendix. Uh, the symptoms of the appendicitis are perium like pain, it shifts to the right tibia fossa, anorexia, and nausea. Pain characteristic of this shifting pain is due to its embryological uh, position, 
which really uh, take place and development on the arrangement of the of the appendix and the classically patient presents he or she says that this uh, i felt pain uh, in the epigastric or perianal like region which uh, later on shifted to the right side of the lower abdomen and it is on a pain shifting pain on the right right mucosa patient complains anorexia nausea was okay was nahi aa rahi hai आवाज नहीं आ रही है इससे ज्यादा लाउड क्या नहीं होता है अच्छा आप लोगों को आवाज नहीं आ रही है इसमें प्रॉब्लम तो नहीं सर बैकग्राउंड की आवाज तेज आ रही है आपकी आवाज बहुत हल्की आ रही है अच्छा बैकग्राउंड से ज्यादा आ रही है मेरी हल्की आ रही है जी बैकग्राउंड में तो आवाज है ये लगा रहे हैं जी अब मुझे सुन सकते हैं आप जी सर अभी क्लियर है नहीं हुई थी ना तो थोड़ो मैंने ना पूछे हुए ना आवाज हाँ अब सुन सकती है बेटा यस सर आपकी आवाज बिल्कुल क्लियर आ रही है अब क्लियर है ठीक है यस सर ठीक है ठीक है बेटा तो हम डिस्कस कर रहे थे अपेंडिसाइटिस ठीक है तो रीस्टार्ट करूं। हाँ 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 ठीक है ठीक है ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ यू कैन हियर मी करेक्टली राइटली ओके वी वर डिस्कसिंग द एनेटमी ऑफ द appendix uh, it is uh, pre only present in the uh, human certain 
app, arthropods and apps, and uh, it is only in these these uh, animals. It is a blind muscular tube with uh, mucosa muscularis and serosa. Morphologically, it is an developed distal end of large cecum. Position of the appendix is variable. As the, uh, the cecum changes its position during infancy, during uh, intrauterine and after birth infancy, the, uh, there is change of the position of the append uh, cecum and it gives some variable places to the appendix. Body and tip of the appendix, they are usually present um, uh, more common in the retrocecal position. Less, uh, second most common is the pelvic, other are paracecal, subcecal, preilial, and postilial. These are the position if the, uh, the appendix is uh, lies behind the cecum is the retrocecal. This is most common, and if is if it is present in the para cecal around the cecum, over the cecum, left or right over the cecum, uh, near the cecum is the para cecal. Para mean around. Sub cecal below the cecum. And uh, pelvic position, it, uh, if it is present in the pelvis, is known as pelvic position. This this uh, tip of the appendix or is is variable. The the base of the appendix is very much uh, fixed. It is usually present where three tinea coli of the of the cecum they converge. This is the point where the the base of the cecum is present. This uh, is the point of, uh, which leads guides to the surgeon when they have difficulty to identify the uh, appendix during the surgery. They follow the tinea coli and these tinea coli they, where they converge actually the, uh, is the place where the base of the appendix is present and other uh, when they found this base, the other procedure is very much easier. Blood supply of the appendix is the pendicular artery, which is the end artery and the branch of the lower division of iliopolic artery. Passes behind the terminal ilium to enter the uh, meso appendix a short distance from the base of the appendix. This is an end artery, and this is the reason of complication. If they, it occurs, these uh, complication they occurs in the appendicitis uh, due to the occlusion of this vessel. Most common is the the gangrene or and perforation of the appendix. Clinical features of the appendix is the periumbilical pain, pain shifting to the right leg posa, anorexia, nausea. These are the symptoms. Classically, patient presents with the pain in the uh, periumbilical region, which shifting to the right leg, right lower abdomen or the right leg posa. Patient also complains of anorexia during the course of the of the disease. Patient feels there is a loss of appetite, and patient feels nauseating while uh, taking food or thinking of even thinking of food. <clears throat> they feels nauseating. <clears throat> Signs are this is a wrongly right written symptom. Signs are uh, pyrexia. Localized tenderness in the right leg fossa and muscle garden. These are the <clears throat> clinical signs and rebound tenderness. 
pyrexia is uh, usually 37.2 to 37.8 uh, this uh, mild fever is present in these patients. If in the children, if it is 38.2 degrees centigrade Celsius is present, uh, you think for the other uh, differential diagnosis or the other diagnosis because it does not cause high grade fever. If there is high grade fever, there may be some complications are occurring and uh, in these during these complications, the patient may experience the high grade pyrexia. Localized tenderness, when you palpate the abdomen, when you palpate the abdomen, you find the tenderness on the right iliac fossa. Actually, in the clinical setting, you you uh, divide the abdomen in eight, nine groups, nine quadrants, and uh, these are named according to uh, name: epigastric, right hypogondrium, left hypogondrium, umbilical, hypogastric, right and left lumbar, and right and left iliac fossa. So, right iliac fossa is more tender in this uh, clinical disease and there is some muscle guarding when you palpate the abdomen patient make the muscle rigid he or she guards due to fear of the of uh, pain patient usually guard over this right side of the abdomen and when you do the deep palpation. It is painful or tender, and when you leave your hand, you release your hand from the right leg fossa where the localized tenderness was present. Patient will have another uh, uh, episode of pain during the release of hand. This is known as rebound tenderness. Some <clears throat> signs we clinically elicit because the appendix is um, is uh, having variable positions. The we use uh, used to elicit some um, clinic uh, clinical signs to confirm our uh, the position of uh, these appendix or the clinical feature on which they present. Patient having the appendix on the retrothecal position where the sauce muscle is very much closer and uh, it is placed over the sauce. Patient usually have a flexed on the clinical presentation flexed hip joint. While on extending the hip joint, it touches the appendix, inflamed appendix touches the the sauce muscle it is uh, causing pain and tenderness over the sauce it's known as sauce sign pointing sign is the sign when uh, during examination we say patient that uh, please tell me with a uh, when uh, one finger pointing where is the most uh, pain is present where the severe pain is present is known as pointing sign and the rousing sign is the sign in which uh, which is elicited by the clinician um, when we uh, palpate the left iliac fossa we do the deep palpation of the left iliac fossa patient feels pain on the right side of the abdomen or the right iliac fossa this is all due to touching the inflamed appendix to the parietal and visceral peritoneum, parietal peritoneum and patient feel the somatic pain. The operator sign in which uh, we flex the abdomen and, um, and uh, internally rotate the uh, uh, flex the hip joint and internally rotate the, the hip uh, joint uh, 
there is feeling of uh, pain or the tenderness over the obturator muscle when it touches the obturator muscle. Differential diagnosis of the appendicitis is varying in uh, different age groups in children. One differential diagnosis is gastroenteritis, mesenteric lymph adenitis, Michael's diverticulum intersusception, Hanuk-Schollen papura, and lobonema. Gastroenteritis, if you take the uh, proper history, patient usually present with, uh, with vomiting, which is more uh, profused than the appendix. Append appendix usually present with nausea, uh, nausea and sometimes vomiting and it is uh, confusing with the gastroenteritis but patient may have the episodes of uh, loose motions abdominal pain which is different from the appendicitis mesenteric lymph adenitis is a uh, is a clinical uh, presentation very much similar to the, the appendicitis but Patient uh, looks more toxic, having more high-grade pyrexia during this uh, attack of mesenteric lymph adenitis. And Meckel's diverticulum is very much confusing. It is usually uh, diagnosed on, on the uh, perioperative. When we suspect the Meckel's diverticulitis, there are certain certain investigation which can confirm this Meckel's diverticulum, but usually it is uh, missed during the uh, our investigative workup, and these are present. These are found perioperatively. Intersusception is the uh, condition in which patient uh, the child has abdominal pain, right? Uh, iliac fossa is empty and the red current jelly uh, stool and it is diagnosed on ultrasound and clinical examination. An in purpura patient will have a sore throat, high grade pyrexia, there are, uh, there are um, uh, different uh, uh, there are uh, ecchymosis over the body or some skin rashes over the body. They, these can lead to some, uh, th this, these are the clues for the diagnosis of HSP and uh, uh, which is further investigated if we uh, examine patient properly, take proper history, we have a suspicion then we can go for the diagnostic work of this HSP. Lobar pneumonia, they, they, these patient, lobar pneumonia patient also present with, uh, with the abdominal pain, but there are respiratory symptoms are more pronounced, uh, uh, more common and the patient is having, patient usually have the high grade pyrexia and on X-ray, there are mnemonic pages over the uh, in the X-ray chest. In adult, the differential diagnoses are these: the regional enteritis, urethric colic, perforated peptic ulcer, torsion of the testis, pancreatitis, and rectus sheath hematoma. You differentiate these these uh, differential diagnosis from the, your diagnosis of appendix during your history taking and clinical examination regional enteritis usually the tiflitis the inflammation of the cecum it usually present with the uh, same uh, features of the right iliac fossa but uh, there are gi disturbance is more common in this regional enteritis Uretric colic patient, right uretric stone or the 
infection, these patients, they present with the right side uh, of abdominal pain or the right iliac fossa pain. But patient have more severe intensity of uh, this uh, ureteric colic and patient usually used to rest over the bed. And um, patient appendicitis patient, they are, uh, they usually lie calm and just they complain of the pain. But in the ureteric colic patient usually changes the positions and patient will have uh, the history of uh, burning maturation or hematuria and there may be known uh, renal problems, renal stones, it will differentiate it on the on your history and you if you send the patient for the ultrasound examination it will give some clue and urine analysis will make give another additional diagnostic point perforative pe peptic ulcer these patients are usually usually the uh, they are smokers or the alcoholics and uh, patient have the uh, presentation of acute abdomen usually started from the upper abdominal side and which shifts to the lower abdomen patient may have the right leg fossa tendon uh, tenderness as the as the uh, spillage of this uh, uh, peptic ulcer content or duodenal content on on the right paracolic better and it uh, uh, comes in the right leg fossa and patient will have some tenderness in the right leg fossa. But uh, if patient presents a bit late, after 24 hours, patient will have a board-like rigidity and when you uh, take an X-ray of abdo abdomen in this patient, patient will have a, a, a gas and the right dome of diaphragm. Torsion of the testis is another differential diagnosis. If uh, testis uh, torsion occurs, patient will have lower abdominal pain. But uh, during the clinical examination, if you expose properly the abdomen and uh, the genitals, uh, there is high appendix and there is tenderness, or uh, high testis and uh, tenderness over the test on other clinical signs which uh, exclude the testicular torsion or the orchitis may be done and confirm your diagnosis. In pancreatitis, patients are usually having the gallstone disease and, um, and patient will have a generalized abdominal pain, vomiting, these features may confuse with the appendicitis, but um, serum amylase, ultrasound, CT scan, they, they differentiate from the appendicitis. And rectus sheath hematoma, these patients, they are usually tall, athletes or sportsmen, they have a, a pain on the right leg fossa, but there is some feeling of mass and um, Echemosis may be present. There are differentiating points, and uh, uh, in ultrasound uh, examination, this can be differentiated from the appendicitis. In females, middle shimmers is a mid-cycle pain, which is present during the uh, course of uh, menstrual cycle, pre-menstrual pain may mimic with the with the appendicitis but it is usually uh, excluded by a proper history pelvic inflammatory disease and other uh, differential diagnosis it also causes lower abdominal pain patient is sexually active and um, there is there may be the history of vaginal discharge in these patients and uh, 
ultrasound examination will confirm the admixal inflammation, the collection of the of the fluid in the pelvis and the abdomen. That this can be differentiated by this. Pyonephritis, more common uh, features of uh, renal tract are present in this this uh, pyonephritis. But it confused uh, with the pain or on the right leg posa and vomiting. This, these are the confusing points. So, battery low. So, Yeah. Um. Sorry, sorry, there was some interruption with my laptop. <clears throat> Another uh, differentiating point, uh, differential diagnosis is uh, ectopic pregnancy. Uh, this patient will have uh, uh, Clinical features same to the appendicitis, but history and uh, and the pregnancy test uh, maybe pre pregnancy test maybe even this this patient. Torsion of rupture, uh, torsion or ruptured ovarian cyst may also confuse with the appendicitis, but these are diagnosed on clinical examination and other radiological investigations. Endometriosis will have the same type, sort of pain, but there is relation with the menstrual cycle. In elderly, diverticulitis, intestinal obstruction, colonic carcinoma, mesentic infarction, and leaked aortic aneurysm may confuse with the appendicitis. Diverticulitis is more common in the left colon, usually the sigmoid and descending colon. The free sigmoid colon, when it uh, comes very unlikely, with, uh, it can confuse with the with the appendicitis. These are diagnosed on the CT scan and, and uh, or the lower GI endoscopy. Intestinal obstruction, patient will have abdominal pain and vomiting, which is more profuse than the, uh, than the uh, appendicitis and clinical examination may reveal uh, uh, abdominal distension palpable bowel loops or other features of the intestinal obstruction. Colonic carcinoma may also mimic with the clinical feature of the, uh, of the appendicitis. Most, uh, usually the cecal or ascending colon growth may, may confuse with the appendicitis. Mesentic infarction, these are elderly patients with have uh, abdominal pain, with the uh, hemat, uh, uh, with the this, uh, blood in the bowel uh, in the stools may be present on CT scan. There will be the gas in the lumen of the of the intestine. Leaked aortic aneurysm may also be confusing with the appendicitis, but uh, they are differentiated by the uh, investigation perform ultrasound, CT scan, or other investigative work. Investigations of the appendicitis. When usually the appendicitis is uh, more diagnosed on 
on clinical examination and history. Some additional point we, we can have which can guide to the uh, diagnosis of the appendicitis or, appendicitis or confirmation of the appendicitis. Complete blood count or complete picture of uh, blood CP or CD may, may be done and there is increased leukocyte count. C-reactive protein, it is also increased in other uh, acute clinical setting, but may give some diagnostic clue. Urine DR is performed to differentiate from the uh, uretic or UTI, and there is some 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 hematuria or pyuria when it, uh, the appendix lies close to the to the ureter. <clears throat> Ultrasound abdomen, uh, uh, ab abdomen or, and the pelvis. It is some bit uh, sensitive, 70, 80 percent, it is sensitive and uh, specific and give the diagnostic addition, addition or confirmation of our diagnosis of appendix and the uh, differentiate from the other differential diagnosis. X-ray abdomen erect. There may be a, a dilated, isolated sentinel loop of the intestine on the right leg or fecolith may also be observed in this, this uh, X-ray abdomen. They can, we can find these things. CT abdomen is more sensitive and uh, but bit expensive investigative uh, investigation it can give diagnosis more perfectly than the other diagnostic tools but there are chances of 5 to 10 percent negative appendectomy even after the CT scan done so when in the diagnosis of the um, of the appendicitis, we take the symptom sign and labs, and the uh, commonest uh, scoring method, which is uh, done in this uh, uh, diagnosis of the appendicitis, is the Alvarado score. Alvarado score is performed with the symptom, migrating pain, anorexia, nausea, signs, tenderness, rebound tenderness, elevated temperature, and the lab, uh, the CBC show the leukocytosis or shifting. These eight signs, symptom, and labs, they score 10. All have a score one except to the tenderness and leukocytes is they are uh, having two score. Mean migratory if migratory pain is present, mean it is having a score one. Anorexia is one. Nausea is one. Tenderness is two. Rebound tenderness is one. Elevated temperature is one. Leukocytosis is two and shift to left. Shift to left mean there are presence of immature neutrophil in the peripheral film. It, this is known as shift to left. This total makes 10. If less than 5, your score during the history taking, examination, and the investigative workup, if it is less than 5, you can manage the patient with conservative. If it is more than five, seven, up to seven, you should go for the appendectomy or surgery. And if comes more than seven up to 10, 
there are chances of, of uh, complication of appendicitis is there. Okay. The treatment option. The only treatment if you confirm your diagnosis of appendicitis is the appendectomy. It can be performed by open technique or the laparoscopic. Or the laparoscopic. Okay. Appendicitis can lead to appendicular mass, sequelae of the any time Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 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 Please send your question on uh, WhatsApp group. I, I will reply your question on this. Achha. अच्छा बेटा अब असल में क्या है प्रॉब्लम आज मेरे साथ ये था कि ये फर्स्ट टाइम था तो थोड़ा एप्लीकेशन को यूज करना थोड़ा टेक्नोलॉजी को फॉलो करना मेरे लिए थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट हो रहा था तो देयर वाज सम इंटरप्शन के मैं कभी आईटी पीपल से पूछ रहा था कभी बीच में हमारा लेक्चर रुक जाता था नेक्स्ट टाइम आई विल ट्राई के हमारा जो है ना ये प्रॉब्लम ना आए तो आप लोग अगर कोई क्वेश्चन करना चाहें तो मुझसे कर सकते हैं एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर लेक्चर ऑन नेक्स्ट वेनेसडे द टॉपिक विल बी सेम आई विल इंशाल्लाह आई विल रिपीट दिस टॉपिक एंड प्रोसीड uh, with the complication and uh, its management and other uh, related problem with the appendicitis and we can we will uh, go on another topic if we have time we will start another topic during that lecture okay so मैं आप लोगों को अनम्यूट कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि अगर कोई क्वेश्चन पूछना चाहे तो मुझसे पूछ सकते हैं अनम्यूट करना चाहिए सब बुक में गली गली लो दिस वन चार्ज हो गया अनम्यूट क्या बस आह ना हाँ अनम्यूट है हाँ बेटा कोई कुछ पूछना चाह रही हैं मुझसे क्वेश्चन कर सकती हैं नो सर व्हाई अपेंडिसाइटिस इज़ रेयर इन इन्फेंट बिकॉज़ बिकॉज़ ऑफ अनडेवलप्ड अंडरडेवलप्ड अपेंडिक्स एंड द वाइडर ल्यूमेन This is because of wider lumen. There are less chances of obstruction, but and another reason is uh, the appendix is not very much developed at that time. This is reason the, it is not uh, present in the uh, infants. Ji beta. Okay. Should I leave? सर डायग्नोसिस का रूल दोबारा बताने प्लीज जी बेटा 
लेकिन इसमें दो जो है वो टू स्कोर करते हैं मीन वन 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 एट एंड आपने टू लिख लिया ठीक है Rebound tenderness नहीं है suppose elevated temperature समझे normal है and leukocytosis CBC करवाया तो leukocytosis आ गया तो two हो गया mean आपके patient का जो score इस वक्त बना जो मैंने जो scenario बनाया उसमें migratory pain one nausea one two tenderness tenderness two two mean four leukocytosis two mean six your patient will undergo the the appendectomy there are more chances ke patient aapke diagnosis sahi hai theek hai agar usme hota kya hai ke in some setups log kehte hain ke negative appendectomy na kare theek hai to wo fir add karte hain with ct scan ke jis ct scan karwa lete hain patient हो सकता है कि हमारे ये स्कोरिंग में तो आ रहा है लेकिन कंफर्म नहीं है डायग्नोसिस तो वो सीटी स्कैन करवा लेते हैं तो उस पर कुछ एडिशनल पॉइंट मिल जाता है और इधर नेगेटिव करना चाह रहे हैं या उससे अवॉइड करना चाह रहे हैं लेकिन फिर भी फाइव टू टेन परसेंट चांसेस उसके बाद भी रहते हैं कि नेगेटिव अपेंडेक्टमीज होती हैं तो ये वराइडो स्कोर इज मोर कॉमनली यूज इन डिफरेंट सेटअप जैसे आप नवाब शाह में हैं तो हमारे पास सीटी स्कैन अक्सर ही खराब रहता है सीटी स्कैन हम रूटीन करवा नहीं पाते हैं तो अदर इन्वेस्टिगेटिव वर्कअप के साथ हम ये अलवराइडो स्कोर पे ज्यादा हम लोग रिलाई करते हैं इट इज मोर इफेक्टिव जी बेटा थैंक यू सर और कोई समझ में आया आपको ये जी सर जी थैंक यू सो मच सर ठीक है और कुछ पूछना चाह रही है नो सर ठीक है सी यू ऑन वेनजडे भले वो मसलो न YouTube चैनल ऐसा है वो कम से ट्राई हो। जी जी सर इन्हें लगता है मुझे भी बारे में ट्राई हो। जो सब फिलहाल इन्हें लाइसेंस करके इस तरह वो कुछ नहीं लगा नाम में तो उन्हें में 500 प्लस स्टूडेंट बना एट तरह से चल रहा है।